Hey everybody, it's Wilbitz! We're continuing Professor Layton and the Last Spectre! Chapter 10! Which I'm actually just now realizing, I think is the final chapter. So, uh, Layton, Emmy, and Luke discover the true Spectre inside the abandoned factory. They then hurry back to town in order to save Lucia and Ariana. Chapter 10, A Legend Revealed. Ooh. So, they got to see the Spectre, but we didn't get to see it. I don't know what it is still. It's probably just a machine, honestly, but now let's go save Ariana. Professor, where do we start? Jakes and his men are probably headed back to the police station. Alright, so what, we have to walk there? That's crap. Okay. Um, oh. Do you have things for me, Birdman? Mr. Barn shut down this factory because he said the pollution made his daughter's illness worse. It's just it's now an empty coop. I think we saw this already. It's not new information, even if it's new dialogue. I'm clicking on people because I'm trolling for puzzles. But maybe we should just... Maybe the... Things seem plot important currently. So maybe we should just hurry on. Incoming! Crow! They've got Ariana in the plaza. I don't know what's about to go down, but it doesn't look good. Let's hurry, Professor. Quickly now. We'll take care of all the stuff in Tony's note. You get to the plaza. Okay. Alright, we're going to the plaza. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Over here. I'm not even talking to that guy. I did that last time, and I think I think I got those guys as puzzles. There are Mouse Badge! There are probably other people around who have puzzles. Emmy, Luke, I have an idea. Do exactly as I say. You got it, Professor. Of course. Meet me in the Grand Plaza. What's this? <laughs> Let her go! Lucia didn't do anything! That's what all you monsters say! I oh, didn't do anything! I oh, didn't see any other monsters who could smash buildings, do you? But... And you kept it going by playing that case in flute of yours! Oh, that's... Hey, who would have thought this child would destroy a town? Appearances can be deceiving, but deceiving appearances can also be deceiving. Doubly deceiving. Ain't nothing deceiving about the appearance of this witch. I didn't do anything. Stop right there, Jakes. If it isn't the professor. Oh, I got another say with your name on it, Leighton, and this time I'll be watching you. Lucia is not the Spectre. This huge blah 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 is the Spectre. Don't talk about yourself that way, Jakes. Have a little self respect. Case closed. Your third eye fails you, Jakes. Lucia was only part of what you perceived to be the Spectre. It's really too bad that this will be your first unsolved case that we know of. I don't have unsolved cases. What are you talking about, Leighton? I think it's time we got a full look at the real Spectre. Oh, please. Oh, Ooh, if Miss Tallery, I now give you the Spectre. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be driving this. Oh, I should not have been allowed to drive this. No, no, sir. Okay, it is just a big machine. This is an excavating machine. It's used to dig up artifacts. And destroy them! Very impressive. We're combining archaeology with mad science. But Jigaray, 
I'll bet I could take that thing. Luke, you've done a fine job. Thank you, Professor. Someone built this machine to dig up the Golden Garden. Ah, oh, it's the a mean thing to do. The existence here in Miss Tallery were too tempting. This machine was searching for the entrance to the Golden Garden as it dug up various parts of town. Which is why it wasn't striking anything more than once. These repeated excavations slowly weakened the land, resulting in the sinkholes we observed. Lucia wasn't attacking the town. She was trying to stop this machine. The specter that everyone saw was Lucia battling the machine. Behind the thick fog, the two appeared to be a single entity rampaging through the town. Mm. The fog was a man-made creation. This was key to understanding the true nature of the specter. The perpetrator produced thick fog to hide his tracks and was then able to dig anywhere in town. What's this about a man-made fog? Creating fog requires quite a bit of water. Our suspect used water from the canals to make the fog. Lucia sensed this disturbance and attacked the machine. The fog completely obscured their battle. Is, is this a joke? Yep. A gotcha! You're punked! Punchlines. You're on Layton TV. I mean, the gentleman Lucia lays... noted that the water levels in the canals dropped whenever the specter appeared. Not, it not was prank then show. that I realized that this specter could not be the specter of legend. Someone hmm. was clearly taking advantage of the folk tale. Okay, well. Case solved. That one. We've solved. Let's see. Spectre was a specialized excavating machine operated by a certain scientist for the purpose of locating the ancient golden garden in Mist Hallery. Hmm. Strange mist. It was artificially created using the water in the canals to conceal the specter's identity. The fog that emerged each time the specter appeared was created artificially by a machine. Hmm. Quite an interesting revelation. However, the question still Not interesting. What evil mastermind could be behind such the other thing? thing? Boring. The final question. Oh. It was someone drawn by the lure of the Golden Garden. Someone who a loves gold. willing to destroy the town to satisfy a lust for personal glory. Oh. Someone who now stands among us. It's not me. This same me. person is responsible for spreading lies about the specter all over town. It's Clark? And that person is you. <gasps> what? 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 There must be some sort of mistake, Miss Layton. I'm just a butler. How on earth could I have done any of this? Dolan, why you do this? You kidnapped Mrs. Triton and threatened to harm her if Clark didn't keep quiet about your plot. What? With Clark under your thumb, you are free to do as you pleased in town. How do you know about this? What? And you, Chief Jakes. You were Dolan's accomplice all along. Well, okay, um, Jakes had to be involved. You this plot, hoping to unearth the Golden Garden. Layton! <laughs> it sounded like he was like falling into lava as he said that. Quite amusing, Mr. Layton. However, I'm sorry to say I have no idea what you're talking about. Me neither. I'm delighted you find humor in this. I, however, do not. Allow me to explain. Well, well by all means. Luke noticed the low water levels I mentioned earlier. <laughs> he recorded all the data sorry. in his notebook. But... As it happens, some of his entries turned out to be incorrect. These were mistakes made by his source of information. A certain informant, we'll call him. A mouse? Look, I did the best I could! Don't, 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 don't lay this on me! However, even when Luke's predictions were wrong, residents were still evacuated from the neighborhoods where the specter appeared. Mm. Isn't that odd? I find that odd. Doland, do you find that odd? <laughs> I think it's great. It's really weird. It's kind of weird. Do you think it's weird? I will take Dolan. that as a yes. You see, Doland, even without Luke's predictions, 
you knew when and where the specter would strike. You were the oracle. The bad, terrible oracle. The residents, not for their safety, but so they would not see what the specter really was. Maybe he also did it for their safety. He just wants the money. That is why you passed along Luke's warnings in the first place. He doesn't have to be a sociopath to want lots of money. You He's just okay with property damage. Disappoint. Congratulations. That was truly Leighton esque. Not a real word. Professor! Just like you said, I found them in Mr. Triton's cellar. The real Dolan and Mrs. Triton were being The real Dolan? There. There's a different other Dolan? I freed them from the cellar and took them to safety. Why do they need two Dolans? Is this it is guy... clear enough that you are not Doland Noble, the Triton family's faithful butler. Is he going to pull off a rubber mask or something? So tell us who you really are. You are correct, Professor Layton. It's time to end this charade. Oh, he's going to put on a mask. <laughs> the Phantom of the Upper is here. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. You say we wouldn't get caught. What an ugly little man you are. It's not little. And Jakes, you killed Mr. Bard, didn't you? <sighs> no, no, I'll just change the will. Bard's death was an accident. I'll just make everything go to clock. I fought the will, sure, but only because he told me to! Well, this is, um... Oh, is that why? Apparently, I made a pact with a small-minded dullard. How truly unfortunate. I mean, yeah, he is one of those. Why did you just call me? I didn't understand the words! A dullard, a fool, a nitwit. Later, your intellect is formidable. I have truly enjoyed this. So we have our Moriarty. You have us at a disadvantage. Indeed. My name is Descolle. I am an artistic man of science with rather lofty goals. Descolle? It really is a pity. I had high hopes that the Golden Garden was here. It was all such a waste of time. And this meaningless town. I'll have my fun by destroying it. You're still just gonna... You're still just gonna... Like, we know you're here now. And you just got like a big... You basically got just a big... Oh. Why do you have more of them? This is worse than specters. Bring the ghosts back. I don't want to fight a robot army. You just bring back the ghosts. Let Lucia out. Lucia, stop them. Everybody, this way! Oh, I should have worked out at any point in my life ever. Oh, oh. Well, there he dies. Lucia, get him! Well, now, I believe the time has come to be eaten by my own robot. Like you're sitting in the mouth. What? By our powers combined! We are a giant mechanical spider. Great. <laughs> Sorry, Lucia. It's not happening. I do believe the townspeople are in for a treat. The spectre was but a prologue. Now for the grand finale. Professor, we have to stop him! What should we do, Professor? I must stop that machine. You two get everyone to safety. Hopefully we can stop it with some kind of geometry puzzle or we're in trouble. No way, as your assistant, I can't let you face danger alone! Same here, or not leaving! I can help you stop that machine. We don't have time to debate this. If I can take out its legs, we can stop it! I've got this hunk of junk. I'm going to do karate on it. Emmy. 
I'll have Lucia distracted while Emmy goes for its legs. Luke, no. I can't let this happen in my hometown, Professor. And Lucia feels the same way. Well, all right then. Crow, we need your help. I got the note from Tony. Pretty impressive how you figured all this out, Prof. Congratulate me later. I need your help right now. Okay, I'm guessing these are puzzles. Let's click on one. Yup. All I need to do is disable its legs. It's almost like a spider. It gives me chills just looking at it. Oh, we established. We've established canonically that she does not like the spiders. All right, boss puzzles. The wires in this compartment are protected by hardened glass. The only access is via a small maintenance window, through which um, a small weight maintenance. The only access is via a small maintenance window through which you can reach and cut three wires. If you cut the connection between terminal A and terminal F, the machine will come to a halt cutting the wrong... Let's see. Cutting the wrong wire, however, may cause the machine to move even faster. Which of the wires should you cut? I wonder, it'd be interesting if you could actually, like, mess this up here. So, we need to cut the connection between terminal A and terminal F. So we're just drawing a line here. Goes under here. Goes up there. And presumably it's going to be this top one. But let's follow it on out just to make sure it doesn't cross multiple times or do something else crazy, right? Yep. So it's just the top one. That's pretty easy. handle this one professor what I need to look at that again something something amiss wait a minute does it split off into different crazy things hmm all right, let's look a little harder. Over here. Over here. And then it splits. Let's follow this path and see what it does. This one goes down. If you cut the connection between Terminal A and Terminal F... Oh wait, no, then, then it will come to a halt? I'm confused. Because these split off all over the dang place. It seems to cross in more than one place right now. Can I cut more than one? Oh, I have to cut it in more than one place. That's really good. Okay, so I was half right, and half right is the same as wrong. What do you think about this? It was very that easy to miss no that problem. the wires split off and then connected back together. It had a redundant switch. You have to cut both the top and bottom wires running beneath the maintenance pile. The wire between A and F runs to the panel twice, the wire itself splits off and comes back together. Quite tough. Hmm, trick questions! Alright, one down, three to go! Now for the next one, we'll have to be more careful. Precious Picarats are on the line. Let's get more of the legs. Because that's all we're doing, is getting different legs. I think the Spectre's slowing down. Whoa, which switch is which? More switches, more things. Emergency stop. In order to stop this machine, you need to press these buttons to shut down the power. The lights on top show which circuits are still receiving power. When you press a button, it will switch the state of the light is connected to, as well as any adjacent lights. So lights that are on will go off and vice versa. Quick, work out which buttons control each light and turn them all off. Okay, so... Oh. I 
think I've got this. Ha ha! I did that accidentally. I did it, Professor. But that's the way you do it with these puzzles. There's only so many things you can press before you just brute force it through. Oh. See the diagram? Each button corresponded to a lamp above it, but the order was off by one. Oh. I mean, yeah, I knew that. Did I get it? I did! Okay, now time to celebrate. On to the next one. I hope Luke's doing alright. Let's get these legs. <laughs> Sweet! Hey, man! What, uh, should I help? Should I be helping? Lucia, are you okay? Yeah, I'm pretty feeling fine. Never felt better. That thing is closing in for an attack, dodging the direction I tell you to, okay? Uh, what? Whoa, okay. The last 15 of the digging machine's attacks have been analyzed. The image below shows the spots where the attacks fell, and they have been marked. Um, they've been marked with the number of the attack. There seems to be a definite pattern here. Can you tell where the next attack will occur? Touch the space you think is next. So we've gone one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't understand at all. Let's draw a line. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is all over the dang place! How am I supposed to be able to tell? Like, like obviously the guess would be. Oh, it's the one place he hasn't hit. Um, but that seems a little too easy. And we are clearly in, like, final boss puzzles. Maybe we should look at the number of spaces each one is going. So if we do that, then we have two bumps. If we go one, here, let's do it like this. So, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. That would be three. One, two, three, four. I have, I think, the sort of thing we need to do. Is, so does this pattern continue? One, Two, three, four, five. Oh! Five. So, do you move the number? Is it like a Fibonacci sequence sort of thing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you move however many you need to get to the next number. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aha! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is actually gonna land in the same place. So it's gonna land on fifteen again. Right? I think this is right. Counting! That's that tricky though. It. To figure out that the pattern was just incrementing it up by one. Hmm. 
Right. And then 17 would actually be back in space number 14 again. I get it. Good job. Good dodging, Lucia. Presumably. Was that the last of him? Uh, no, he's still attacking. Oh, I hope Emmy's okay. She's got more legs to break. Okay, more legs. More legs. All right, what's next? I need to disable that thing while Luke and Lucia distract it. According to the warnings on this device, the two red terminals on the top panel need to be connected to stop the device. Um, let's see. However, unless all four connectors on each block are connected to a connector of or terminal of the same color, the emergency stop function will not work. Solve this as quickly as you can. Don't time me. Can I spin these? Oh, Lord. Okay, so it has to not only connect, but it has to be the right color. So, how many blue and red things do we have? We've got this one, and we've got potentially this one. So it could be either of these. Wow, 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 wow. So we gotta get these corners in place, first and foremost. Whoop. Okay, that looks nice actually. I'm just putting things down and seeing what I can come up with, which may be a poor strategy. Yeah, there's nothing that has a green on both the top and the bottom. So, alright. Man, what's the strategy for this? What's Slayton doing during all of this? I can only assume. So, let's start with the reds, I guess. So then we want it to point out. Because, yeah, I think the other one that we could have potentially used was this one. And we don't want that because that definitely doesn't... Oh, wait, that doesn't fit anyway. There was a different one. It was this one. And we can't use that one because that would not connect the red. So we need to go from here. So. Let's see. We need a green-blue that lines up in the right way. I like this, because I feel like we're not getting very many options that work, and that means it's probably got to be right. So that means we need not only a yellow, but something that leans over this way. Like, that's not going to get us in the right direction. That's not going to get us in the right direction. Actually, none of these are. Oh, this one might. Yes, this looks right. And then either that one, or no, I think it's got to be that one. That connects it. So, do we have a piece that is green, yellow, red, blue? Like this. Oh, this is a nice pattern that we've got. All right, I like where this is going. Oh, no. Man, boss puzzles, you guys. Is there another blue-red that I'm not seeing somewhere? Oh, it's gonna have to loop around, probably. Because that fits really nice. Wait, is it just this? And then... That? Does that match up? Blue, green, yellow, red. And it goes right along here. I think this is it. What do you think about this? You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Uh, I'm sorry, the puzzle just keeps the puzzle just keeps asking for my lunch money and I only have so much, but it's better than getting beat up. I'll go hungry. Wow. 
Okay. Moving on. That should do it. Soon it won't have a leg to stand on. Ha 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 ha. It'd be interesting. I guess we're getting little electrical short outs as we solve them. If I can just get this last leg, that thing should be completely immobilized. It hasn't moved this entire time, and it's letting you sit there and just like, hmm, if this fire goes over... It's not a very good machine. Oh my god. The switchboard has an emergency shutdown feature. Apparently, all you have to do is press the button marked with the symbol that should appear in place of the question mark. The symbols are arranged according to a certain rule. So, which button is it? Alright, so it's clearly a combination of these symbols in some way. And our primary symbols seem to be an M, a staple, a triangle, a top hat, and a circle. But what rules determine their combinations is the question. And it's not the ones between them. Because this is an M in a circle, which means that it's connecting these two shapes. Um... This is a triangle and a square, or it's a square and an M, but reversed. It kind of looks like these two shapes combined. Oh, God. This is an M and a top hat, which is this. This is a T and a staple. So it's going over one, two, three, one, two, three. So, presumably for this one, we need to go over one, two, three to get a circle, and then one, two, three to get a triangle. So if that's true, it would be this one, right? I think it's the circle with the triangle. Let's try it. Press that I'll button. This one, Professor. Okay, good. That puzzle was no problem. It was just, yeah. It's kind of a crazy star, but it was a little crazier than just a star. Each of the five symbols on the Pentagon's edges is made up of the two corner symbols that are neither adjacent nor directly opposite. Sure. In this case, the circle and triangle symbols combine to reveal the identity of the mystery button. I like this one that looked like a Christmas tree. Or the one that was a circle to top hat. Enigma machine! It's all up to the professor now! 